the Ishbitzer Haggadah on Pesach, Amud Yitzchad Amud Bet, page 36. Pesach Nehmar Tam, Asita Pesach L'Shem Elohecha, Ki B'chodesh Aviv Otsiach Hashem in Yitzrayim Laila. The reason why it's called Pesach is because it says in the Torah that you shall make the Pesach to, to Hashem your God, because in the month of Aviv, in the spring, God brought you out from Egypt at night time. What's the difference between day and night? In the day, there's a joining together of all of the levels, because the nefesh, is, the soul is connected with the body. Like we say, um, the, the one called to the other. The body calls to the soul. That all of the levels taste from the level that's above it. In nighttime, there's a separation of the levels, a separation of the madragas. Like we find in the, in, the, in the earth, we have the summer and we have the winter. That in the summer, everything tastes from that, so that which is above it. That the inanimate, the, the earth tastes from, from the growing things, and the growing thing tastes from life, and life can taste from speaking, and speaking can taste which is man, the power of man, and it's all included in the power of man, and man can taste from the earth. And everything, and man can take all of this power and, ta- and, and use it to serve God, so the inanimate and the vegeta- vegetable world and the, um, the animal kingdom, they can all join together in man, and man can use that power to ser- serve God, and th- in that way the, all of the creation can stand before Hashem, that man raises them all up. Because they want to come up, and they want to stand before Hashem. This is called day, the morning of Abraham, that when everything wakes up and wants to stand before Hashem. And winter is when, when it's like nighttime. Winter is there's a, there's a separation and there's, a, there's an empty space between the earth and man, because man cannot taste directly from the earth when the, when the ground is sleeping in the winter. Now the day is the, is the union of body and soul, and the nighttime there's a separation between body and soul, that the soul is raised above and disconnected from the body when the person is sleeping. And, but the, the body stays below. And then the, you, have a, you have an empty space between the body and the soul. So in, in life, there's also a kind of day and night that a person stands before Hashem, a person stands before Hashem, and in that's in the, called daytime. Because, and then when God, God is hidden from him, that's called, and he's not standing before Hashem, that's called nighttime. But still, a person has, at, at nighttime, he has life because he's still alive when he's sleeping. He has that, that vital, vital functions are still intact, still working, that a person, that he just, he, he doesn't separate from life, God forbid, he's, he's just sleeping. And the, the main point of life remains in man when he's sleeping. And from this, he can wake up in the next morning and wake up again and start a new day. And this is the way it was in Egypt. The Egypt was like nighttime, when 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 all, all of the, all, all of the hispashtas which means spreading, spreading forth into different levels. It, it wasn't, it wasn't recognized from our side. We didn't, we didn't know we were Jews. We didn't know we were Bnei Israel in Egypt. Thus, we had this, this point of Jewishness hidden deep inside of us in Egypt. That, that God holds on to this one little point, and from this little point, God took us and saved us and redeemed us from Egypt. And He caused, a, He woke us up from this point, this hidden point, when we had sunken so low. Now, by this, by means of this, he brought the redemption. That's why, and the, therefore, we have to eat the, the the Pesach offering. It has to be roasted with its head on its knees. It was it was like in the the, car, the offering of the Pesach was roasted in a fetal position. It was tied together with its knees by its head, and that's to show that there's no spreading out. It's not like 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 you're spreading our hands and, and legs spread out. They they were folded together in a fetal position. That's to show that it was nullified before Hashem completely. And that's also why it has to be roasted. Because it was roasted means roasted over the fire. And fire teaches nullification. Like it says in the, in the book of Mishli, that fire knows nothing of wealth. Meaning fire just destroys wealth. It doesn't discriminate. Wealth is, is expansion, is, is, is increase. And fire is nullification of that. It doesn't, it doesn't discriminate. So that's, it's all about simsum. Pesach is about this, this simsum. So that's like it says that the meaning of the part, the carbon Pesach is because God took you out from Egypt at night time. Specifically, it's focusing on the word night time, meaning that that in the darkness, in that in that intrinsic darkness that we were in, that a person who's still in darkness when he when he can't when when he even in then even in the darkness he can be drawn after the good, and he can and that good can cause him. Um, 
and he can remain, he can keep this good with him. In that time in Egypt, we didn't have any choice. It was all beyond our choice. We we didn't we weren't we weren't considered separate beings that were making separate choices. And this is the same with the with the Omer sacrifice. With the Omer sacrifice was was barley was an animal food. Therefore, it is it was forbidden to spread out on this this chag. We can't spread spread out. And in the sense that, that like in the night when the angel of death went was came, came to the houses, we did, we weren't told we were told not to leave our houses. This is the idea of not spreading forth. Because if a person spreads forth to receive goodness too much, then he's too much in the actions of the body. And the redemption from Egypt was was a leap, was a jump, where Hashem illuminated the revelation, this explicit revelation from the light of Atika Kadisha, from the very highest light of divinity, from the holy ancient one. And it and the, that little he it rose up in God's will, and it was revealed that the very first thing that God thought about when He created the world was Israel. He created the world for the sake of Israel, even though Israel on the outside we seemed no different from the Egyptians. It seemed that we had been been our actions were just the same as the idolatrous Egyptians. Still, God leapt over that. That's why Pesach means a leap, a jump, and He leapt into this understanding where it was completely clear to all that 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 we had this point of Jewishness and we were the first thought of God when He wanted to create the world. So that's the the point of the carbon Pesach, the sacrifice of the Pesach, is to wake up this point, to wake up this 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 moment of God's will, this etratzam, when when that when God's simple will chose Israel, without any actions from our side. It was just His own choice. It had nothing to do with us. And this is this is a real thing. This this etratzam, this willing moment, time when God wills it. There a person, therefore, a person in Pesach wakes up. He has to wake up to the avoda and to this illumination and understand why why God chose him. What what is the point of, of being chosen? What does it mean to be a Jew? This this teaches of the sacrifices and the Zohar talks about the sacrifices. It teaches that this that it's the sacrifice reaches all the way to the Sof, to the infinite, because by, by means of the sacrifice a person goes deeply into the idea of the sacrifice. And he goes deeply, meaning you're sacrificing yourself, your understanding. And you go in, whatever you know, you go into it deeper, and then you eventually realize that it's all connected to the infinite. And no matter how far you go, there's always a deeper level to go. This is the reason why God took us out from Egypt at night. Because the night is a time when you look at the night sky and you say, no matter what I know, there's an infinite level beyond this, and there's always more to know. And that's the meaning of the Pesach.